Hello, hello, I'm Angie C, and this is A Hug in a Better Place. The book today is Just Like Heaven by Mark Levy, or Levi. <laughs> this one, I just finished it, and it's still really fresh in my mind, and I usually, when I record these, I write notes, but while reading this, I just couldn't bring myself to jot down adjectives and make it not do this book justice in a weird way. First things first, when I finished, I sat there smiling because it's a happy ending. Spoiler alert, it's a happy ending. And it's beautiful. It is magical as the New York or the New York Post claims. Yes, it is very magical. It's a book that kind of leaves you feeling pensive and it has these philosophical moments in it about love and life and time and moments and beauty in the world and it's it's a very very special book because it it just makes you think and it makes you appreciate things and it it brings you back down to earth you know it's one of those books that makes you refocus and want to just meditate and figure out priorities in your life and it's an absolutely stunning love story that kind of brings you faith and brings you hope because I've always believed in things that are bigger than bigger and beyond myself and I wasn't raised religious but I've always knew that there was always that there's something more and I've always believed in miracles and just all the good that is possible in this world and it's just really fun to read about the guy who has to face that because if you don't know already the story's about a girl who that's how the story starts off it's pretty tragic because she goes into an accident she's a doctor she falls into a coma and all of a sudden her spirit kind of almost like a ghost but since she's not dead it's not a ghost <laughs> but let's call it her spirit haunts her old apartment and this new guy moves in and he has to face having her spirit in his life essentially and it's really amazing how the human connection works it's really simple and it's really fundamental and there's all these things that you can't just explain like we as humans we like categories we like putting names to things we like things that we can understand and explain otherwise we just brush it off and call it impossible but this book just it's fiction of course i know that but i do believe in the little miracles that happen in reality so i do recommend this now i want to see the movie because surprisingly i haven't seen the movie before and I, th I believe it, that's, well, that's Reese Witherspoon, and I believe that's Mark Ruffalo, so it shall be a fun chick flick, I assume. And yeah, I definitely recommend this book to everybody. It's a little change in pace. It's a really cozy story. And if you don't know the ending, you're, I'm just sitting here being hopeful the whole time in it. In it. It doesn't let you down, so. And there's so much more to it than just that simple plot. Well, not so simple plot, but then the primary plot, so. Yeah, I definitely recommend this to you, I guess. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about this. Thank you for listening to another episode of A Hug in a Better Place, and I will talk to you next time. Bye now.